Now the rain today is associated with our tropical wave, our tropical disturbance, whatever you want to call it in the Gulf of Mexico. It is sitting just south of us, uh, south of the Louisiana coast here out in the Gulf of Mexico, but drifting northeastward. So this is going to be moving more so up towards the Florida Panhandle as we go through today, and it does have a chance of maybe trying to become a tropical depression or maybe even a tropical storm, weak tropical storm as it moves towards the Florida Panhandle and the Big Bend area later today and going into Thursday. So this is moving away from us in the long term and yeah, we'll see some moisture from it today with just a few storms, but most of that activity stays just off to our east. So where we think kind of that broad low pressure at the surface is, is going to be pretty far to the south down here, but there is a mid level circulation right up in here and that's where we're seeing most of the rain this morning that will be lifting up to the north. So for Mississippi, Alabama, Florida Panhandle, you're going to be in a quite a rainy day and you're going to have to watch for some flash flooding, I think, and it just looks like most of this stays just to our east. So most of this staying in the Gulf of Mexico, but right near the mouth of the river could get a little bit more rainfall than the rest of us. So you can see there are precision cast showing the big old blob of storms associated with this tro tro tropical disturbance never really, really consolidates into anything. It is possible that it does become a depression, but there it is moving to our north and east or to our east. And then that's what we're looking forward to that cold front moving in tonight and by Thursday, you're going to notice it's much drier. Now it is technically a cold front, but it's not going to bring cold, cold air. It's going to bring in some nice dry air to make it feel pretty good around here. So the main impacts with this are going to be well to our east up through the Florida Panhandle where we'll see most of the rainfall associated with Invest 91. Maybe it becomes a depression. Maybe it gets the name Mindy. Either way, it does not look like a big deal other than some rainfall for areas. There's the moisture associated with it just off our coast that flies off to the east later on today. Cold front moves on through and then by Friday we got a lot of dry air here and it's going to stick around through at least Saturday. Unfortunately, it comes to an end pretty quickly. By Sunday, we get another tropical wave in the Gulf, a big old slug of moisture with it. You see this big area of cup purples. That's deep tropical moisture that will be heading up towards Texas and Louisiana by Sunday. And then by Monday, Tuesday, we'll have quite a bit of that moisture over us. So our rain chances will go up, go back up by the end of the weekend and early next week. So we are just a few storms today, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. We're dry Sunday. We've got some storms back in the forecast, but the best